Today I'm gonna make a lumpia and my main ingredients is really just a carrot and um, um, what you call it? Um, spring onion. So this is my main ingredients. So I already chopped some carrots. I put, I put a lot because I love the color of the carrots and just the green onion. And the only thing I you can I can put sometimes I put a mushroom, but Robert really don't like mushroom, so I don't put mushroom. But sometimes I made it separate to make it sure that I have the mushroom. I love the mushroom. So um, the thing on this is I got green onion. But the rest of this, I don't throw it because I'm going to replant them. So I have the, this time I use beef, chopped, uh, chopped meat, the beef. And then I have, I put a little bit of salt and, and uh, what they call it, uh, soy sauce. So, okay, I'm going to just, hold on. Okay, so now I'm going to mix it up. If I don't have enough carrots, then I'm gonna add more because I like to put more carrots in it. More vegetables is better. I love the vegetables. So that's really my main ingredients and I always make it fresh. I love the fresh one and I think I need more carrots in it. Let's see. As you can see, I think it should be fine. See that? That's why I like. And I just put a little bit of salt. I don't put too much salt on it because um, you can add, uh, you can, because if you make the, the sauce, then you can do, see, I just add a little bit salt, uh, soy sauce. I use this type of soy sauce because one thing that I like on this soy sauce is, um, smell good and it it's it, it add the taste so but i don't put too much salt on it so i just mix it up and a little bit marinate it a little bit let, let it marinate it for a while and then i i add a little bit now i'm just gonna use my hand to make it sure they are all they're all mixed properly That's one thing I like the carrots and the color it makes it's beautiful it pop up you can see see that it's beautiful that's one thing I always I always love I, I always put carrots never miss the carrots and this is really my main ingredients and they love they love it <laughs> I make a lot of uh, lumpia because after this once I finish wrapping it I put I cook some and then I put it under the refrigerator so if we ask if I want to eat lumpia, we want to eat lumpia then I can just cook it. So, you know, I, I don't have really much time because making this it takes really time. So if I have a time then I make, if I, I make lumpia then I make more. Then I'm just gonna leave this one for a while. I'm gonna show you the color. Look at that color. Color is beautiful. Yeah? That's the color. Mmm, smell good. <laughs> That's really it. See how easy it is? And all I have to do is wrap it later. I'm gonna show you how to wrap. I'm gonna show you how I do on wrapping and putting it in the freezer so I'll be back so I also making a lumpia uh, I'm not only a lumpia I also make a pancet today so this is all my ingredients in the pancet I like the different colors because um, um, it make it so beautiful so I have carrots green beans and um, 
uh, what do you call this? Uh, I have a cabbage and that cabbage is from the garden. It's a big, good one. So, uh, and, uh, and uh, what do you call it? A bell paper. I like different colors of bell paper because it make it stand up the color. It's beautiful. So that's really my main ingredients. And I have a little bit of I'm going to go and waste them. So, yeah. That's, I'm going to slice it so thin so I can make it later because I have, grandma will be here later. So I don't know what time she will be here. And I promise that I'm going to make I'm going to cook a, a, a pancit and a lumpet for her. So now I am making, I already made the lumpia. So that's my lumpia with the meat. And look at that. They are beautiful color. And very good. I already make some. And I have a few more. I think I can make at least a hundred pieces of it. But this time I only, I'm going to just make a few that we can eat because <laughs> they are coming already so i still haven't made the, the pancit because i like to cook the pancit i already prepared the ingredients but i haven't really cooked it because i want it to be fresh so i just maybe i'm just gonna cook a few that way everybody can have some <laughs> and then i'm gonna cook the 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 pancet so that's really and then this is the one that I used to do to you to make see that because they are tiny uh, they are very thin and I like it because uh, once you cook it even if you don't eat it right away it's still crunchy so that's why I like this type one and I always make, once I make a lumpia, I make a lot because I, process, I put it on the freezer. So once I we need, because they love it, it don't really last that long. It's, once they know that I have a lumpia on the freezer, they just keep asking me to cook it. So don't really last that long. I like it fresh. That way it's, it's, it's different. I, I like it the way it, uh, I do. I don't, and the thing is, the color is so beautiful. Look at that. Sometimes I use the I use pork, but this time I use um, beef. This time, so see that it's pretty thin. There is another type one that is uh, thick. I think the 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 box on it is blue. I, I cannot remember. It's been a while. I never really use it because last time I used it, I realized um, they are very good. But it's just once if you don't eat it right away, then it's not really crunchy. Once it cooled down, so I I like this one better. So see, it's very easy. That's the way it is, and I think I, I should have enough already for, <laughs> I, I'm gonna add a little bit more. There we go. And I'm just gonna make um a sauce and see if they like it but i always make it just um what they call it uh i put some uh onion i have plenty of onion so i don't mind using a lot of onion i get that from the garden i always plant them every year because i love the red onion so every time i every summer i plant a lot of onions so i can I save it for the whole year. That's my <laughs> that's my thing. I never really buy onion. Once I plant it, then that's I save it until next year, and that's what I do. There you go. That's very easy. Yep. Yeah. So 
so I think I should be fine that should be enough more than enough <laughs> but I still have a lot so I'm just gonna cover that and maybe I, I do one more I'm gonna cover that and I do that little because I have to cook the pancit don't do thick very thick because they are fresh and so it's more easier to 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 cook it for me so that's why I leave it very thin and they are very delicious they love it <laughs> it don't really last that long though so right now I am going to cook pancit here is all my ingredients. This is uh, shrimp, uh, chicken, carrots, beans. This is cabbage, and this is what they called it. Um, what they called it? Bell pepper and my onion and garlic. So there you go. And I'm gonna cook the lumpia. And there you go. So. Here, because they're almost here. They are supposed to be 20 minutes away, but I think they're not. <laughs> but at least I'm gonna cook, so. Okay, I don't use too much oil, except for the lumpia, because I have to do the fry on it. And I think the lumpia, I'm gonna make at least 100 pieces of it today, and just put it on the freezer once it's done so at least if we want to eat if they like to, they want to eat more then I can just get it from there because that one even it's a hundred pieces it don't last long they love it
away and then I will shake it up a bit. So that's what I'm saying. And there's menu. Yeah. <laughs> I already have the visitors here. <laughs> so I'm gonna get some and give it to them. Take care. Bye-bye.